Shalom Aleichem, sweetest friends. This year should be a special supposed to look for us. Chino Rachel, Vaz Gitlok and Mendel. Pesok Sha'ar Chole Yisrael. Very exciting. We are continuing our study of the Holy Sefer Oros of Maran HaRavzatzal. We are learning Oros HaMulchama, the lights of war. That part of the, the section on Mulchama. War, we're in, in the second parak. War is definitely something negative. It would definitely be preferable to solve problems without more without war. However, you can one cannot say that war is immoral or unethical. A person can't go to war, a Jew can't go to war and say that he's doing something wrong. We look in the Sefer Tanakh and we see that there were waging wars. Says the Rav, Anu mistaklim badorot rishonim. המסופרים בתורה, בנביאים ובכתובים, אותם הדורות שהיו עסוקים במלחמה, והם הם הגדולים שאנו מתייחסים עליהם בידידות וגדולת קודש. We see in the Torah that the great people were warriors. Our Mervinu went to war. Shimon and Levi says in the Pasuk, They didn't run after the Bnei Yaakov, after Shimon and Levi killed the Anshi Shechem, because Chagar Yaakov Klei Milchama Kinegdan. Yaakov girded himself with utensils of war. So Yaakov could wage war, and Avram and Shimon and Levi, and they didn't touch Bnei Yaakov, they were afraid. Moshe Rabbeinu obviously led the Jews in war against Sichon and Og. Yoshua Binun obviously led them in war. Sneel ben Kenaz, who was Machzer Bepopulo, 3,000 halachas, Me'evel Shomot Sharbeinu Tumor Tezayin Amalav was an Ishmochama. Shaul was a Talmud Chacham God was an Ishmochama. David, Mashiach, Eloke Yaakov, and Imz Nilis Yisrael was an Ishmochama. We see that the great people were Anshe Mulchama. Even Nashim, Dvori, Ael. And that's what the Rav says. They may you gdolim shanabit yachasim lehen biyididut. We have Ava for them. We love them. And we have Cherdas Kodesh. We have Gdulas Kodesh. They were great people. They may you gdolim shanabit yachasim lehen biyididut. They may you gdolim shanabit yachasim lehen biyididut. They may you gdolat Kodesh. They were great. They were also Anshe Mulchama. And we relate to them. With this friendship, with this love, and with this reverence. So how can this be? So if you just look at war and you say, yeah, it's just a bunch of people killing each other out of anger because they want a piece of land, then it's no good. Doesn't sound good at all. So really, the only difference is between a good war and a bad war, primary difference is, what is the reason for, for being in this war? We understand, we look at these Gedolei Olam, that it was the Zika Nishmati. It was the spark of the soul, which was the foundation. Is it that a person has violent tendencies, latent violent tendencies, and now he has an opportunity to actualize them? It's obviously terrible. But if it's a zika nishmati, if it's coming from a commandment from God, then it's a good thing. We don't want it ideally in an ideal world. There's no war. That's why when it says Mashiach will come, there's going to be no war. But in the meantime, there has to be. Habal lahargacha. Hashkem lahargo. 
someone comes to kill you, you have to get him first. This Aru Monea Charbo Midam. Cursed is the one who prevents his sword from spilling blood. Yom Yom Em Ches Yud. The point is not to kill for the sake of killing. Chas Shalom. But rather, to remove evil from the earth and to fill the commandment of God. Oto ma'amad ha'olam shalach b'mutzato az shayta melchama kokach nechutza bo We were living in this world where war was necessary. It was a barbaric world. In a barbaric world, if you just sit back and say, hey, be, let's be friends, then you're finished. So who garam lo fiat eila neshamot shal gashatana pnimit betochen shalem haita? So this caused these souls to appear, these neshamas of powerful warriors. That their internal feeling was strong, was shalem. For them, Yitzhiel and Muhammad, it was a davar shalem. It was a good thing. It was something sari. It was ethical. It was good. Comes from the zika nishmati. Comes from the soul. Milchemet kiyum, kiyum ha'uma. It wasn't that we were going to get booty or that people should praise us. It was that we should exist. Milchemet Hashem ve'akara pnimit. They knew in their consciousness, in their eternal recognition, that these Mochamas are Mochamas Hashem. Like Abigail said to David, Ki Melchamot Hashem Adoni Nilcham. You're fighting the words of God, Shmuel Aleph, Chofei Chofchez. That's the Zika Nishmati. Azizim Hayu Berucham. They fought with strength, with power. V'yadu Be'omek HaChoshech. They knew, not only in the Beis Medrash, in the heat of war, to choose good and to diverge from evil. After the Melchama of the four Malachim against the five, when Avram Avinu came to wage war, and Avram Avinu won, so Melech Stom says to Avram Avinu, here, take the booty. What did Avram Avinu answer? Hari Mosi Yodi El Hashem Kel El Yom Koi Nishamayim Varetz Im Michut V'ad Tzorech Nao Yimakach Mikol Asher Lach I'm not taking anything. Is that why I fought for money? I fought to fear for free loads? Gam Ki Eilech B'Geit Sal Mavet Lo ira ra. Famous Pasuk was saying to Hillam, Chav Gimel Dalit. In other words, even when I'm fighting against my enemies, Gam ki elech begeit sal mavet, even if I'm walking in the valley of the shadow of death, I'm at war, Lo ira ra. I'm not afraid that I'm going to become evil. The famous line of Ephraim Kishon was an Israeli humorist. He said that Sahal Zatzavai Yachid Ba'olam Eretz Yisrael. He said that Eretz Yisrael, the Eretz Yachida Ba'olam, Israel is the only country in the world. Shekol Ben Adam Uchayal, Vekol Chayal U Ben Adam. Every person is a soldier, and every soldier is a mensch. Kol Chayal U Ben. It's not true that Kol Ben Adam Uchayal, and it's also not true that Kol but generally speaking, we're much more merciful than the enemy, and most soldiers would prefer not to fight, the vast majority of them. We just have to protect ourselves. But I'm not worried. A person knows that he's fighting the wars of God, and he's not going to turn evil. When we look at these great people, we, with every spiritual appearance that we so desire, we want 
be great. We want our Avas. We want to be like the Avas. When we're born in the Avas, we say, Masaya Gil Masa, the Masa of Hosea Mitzvah Yaakov. Mishtokim li Mutsam. We desire to give us the courage and the strength that our Avas had. But besides being very tzaddikim and gentle people, in addition, they were also very strong at war. Midam chalalim mechelev giborim keshet yonatan lo nasog achor bechelev shaul lo tashuv rekam Shmuel Bet, Paragal of Pasuk Chav Beis. But Shaul and Yonason, even though they were very gentle people, they were tzaddikim, but they weren't afraid that when they shot their arrows, and they had to stab the enemy, the, their innards would fall out. Yeah, there's going to be some innards coming out. It's not going to be so pretty. But that's what they had to do. That a person who's soft of heart should go home. And he's afraid of the enemy, he's afraid of hurting them. At war, you have to be a man. He's about David Amalek, he's called Adino Eitzani, Shmuel Beis, Perak of Gimel, Pasuk Ches. As I'll say, that when he was in Beis Medrash, he was also at Torah, he was soft and gentle. Like a worm. Then when he got out to war, he was strong like a tree. He would throw an arrow and get 800, and he was upset he didn't get the other two more hundred. As Chazal are telling us, that David was a very, very powerful warrior. So we desire this also. The Koach HaChaim HaChatuv HaGavush Heitan VeHamutzak that's when we want to be like our Avos, on one hand we become stronger, but we also become more gentle. Because again, we, we realize what the main idea is, what's our objective, what's our motivation. Our motivation isn't to hurt, and our motivation is to kill. Our motivation is to fill the and those holy souls return to us. The olden days. We're empowered by them. So we learn in this in this Keta that many of our the heroes of the Jewish people waged war, and it's not a bad thing. This is what has to be done in the world in which we live. This is what has to be done. The important thing is that their motivation should be holy. And we strive to reach that madrega. That we also fight with holy motivation. Okay, so we learned the Siyat of the Shemaya Perik Beis, the Fasta, Meruba, Lot, the Fasta. Obviously, there's endless amounts of Shiurim we could be giving. And all we need is the Simchas uh, Chaim, the Koach, and Brius, and the time, and the financial means. And we're going to continue the Siyat of the Shemaya, learning the Tzayoros and other Svarim. Little more do the lame lishma of last, the time is called Ibe Sam Tras of Hava. Amen, the Amen. Shalom, shalom, sweetest and most beloved friends.